This is Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. We're exploring out here the area that we were just in, but now I'm looking for goodies. Looking for goodies and trying not to get killed by this shrieker. So there's the shrieker. Like, if I just shoot the thing, bad things happen. You know what I'm saying? I can just shoot it, right? But... But if I do... Sound like you need some amphetamine, honestly. Target is too far. And I got a crossbow. Watch. This won't hurt it at all. can't hurt it at all and if I get within its if I get within its vision cone it's just gonna obliterate me now this is its tangential detection area we've already been fought a whole bunch of dudes in these ruins over here the only thing is I want now I wonder if I'm invisible Anyway, it just kills you. Just kills you. See, like, there's a dead seeker I would like to loot right there. But I'm afraid that if I do it. I'm going to have problems. Let's try invising. Loot the dead seeker. Hey, it worked. Invisibility for the win. Is there anything else in this area of... I guess not. And I got a journal update. We saw a Shrieker. It's crackling with source. Removing that source might render a Shrieker harmless. Yes, but we don't know how to do that. Oh, maybe if we got one of the wands. One of those source cleansing wands or whatever. See, this leads back up to the top of these ruins where we already were. Yeah, my journal updated. We have to figure out where to get the secret weapon to deal with the Shriekers. Calisera, a mushroom that's notoriously fit forbidden in most wizard universities. Uh-oh. When wizards forbid a mushroom, it's gotta be bad. It's gotta be bad. I don't know how to get down here to where this... Apparently my character thinks he knows how to get down there. Wait. Anti-magic tip on how to deal with the Shrieker, yeah. Um, empty potion bottle to a fawn, gold to a fawn, weird mushroom to a fawn. Show place of the crafting ingredients. I think Fane is going to take the empty potion bottle, combine it with his ooze barrel, make himself poison bottle so we should come check out this weird tower I think that's all there is over here 
Looks like we can just walk right on this shallow water right here. You ate two and a half liters of ice cream today. That's a lot. Wow, that's a lot of ice cream. What kind of ice cream? Farted and it smells like a Rottweiler cheese fart. That's gross, man. Fucking gross. Dana's gonna scout ahead. Shell. An electrified steam. Hey! There's dead bodies up there with names and loot. What does this mean? There's a vine. Fishbone. Bird nest. Well, here's the ship we're trying to get to. can't fly up to it though. Oh, so get that with telekinesis. question is, should we try to get up here? Good news, by the way. What's the good news? Can't reach. Let's try flight. is interrupted. Target is blocked. Well, maybe we have to fly across from here. Maybe Sibyl can teleport someone. I got 1500 XP for just getting up here. Oh, but then he fell down. Hold on. Let's try this again. Right in the middle of your class time. That doesn't really sound like good news. Uh. 
Artifacts of the Tyrant. Ooh. Incredible amounts of loot. So Maria and Lorenzo are a pair of dead lizards up here. Now there's steam cloud burning instead of lightning cloud. Static cloud arrows. Cool. So we found some good stuff. A bunch of gold. Tracks of the tyrant. Air essence. A chest armor that needs to be identified. Static cloud arrow he can keep. A rain scroll can go to Osa. A rune. Some other magic leather boots. He can come down here now. So, you don't know if you're uh, serious about school anymore? What, um, what does that mean? And 3% dodging. Good boots are as a hunter's boon, as vital for fleeing an ogre as they are to kicking in a crocodile's teeth. Packs of the tyrant give you movement. These boots are fortified with steel toes, somewhat rusted now from Bracchus Rex's burial at sea under the hands of source hunters. They give you a ton of armor. And sneaking. I'm curious if I wear Tyrant Stride uh, It's been cursed. With the ta tracks uh, of the Tyrant. It's been cursed. It makes me crippled and slowed. How do I uncurse these items? Tyrant stride and tyrant's tracks. So basically you just found my boots. Yeah, I don't have a bless thing yet. I don't have anything that can bless yet. Let's identify this chest armor though, it's purple. Umbra. Ton of magic armor. Gives intelligence and geomancer and summoning. Oh my god. Well this is obviously for Losa. And it has a rune slot. So Losa, if she's going to equip this, she's going to lose... Alright, that's fine. Magister's Mantle is not that cool. That's her new outfit. And she can also put a rune in that. Now, do I want to put Magister's Mantle on Sabeel? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so this can come up here and become wares. I can give her a rune. Shadow Essence. I can give her a rune. Just give her water resistance, physical armor, or air resistance. Well, let's give her some physical armor. Right now she's got 21. We manage runes. Put this in there. That doesn't seem to have done anything. The physical armor is still the same. Put something else in there. Air resistance or water resistance? Air, I guess. Is 
There we go, now she's got some air resistance. These boots are kind of garbage right now. So it's not purple, it's black. Yeah. It's really good too, because she's already got Geomancer and Summoning. Now her summons are really good. You have no idea what's going on in your life anymore. I haven't had any idea what was going on in my life for so long. <laughs> You wanted to do Unity to prove you could excel at it no matter what anyone thought. That seems like a weird reason to do something. Okay, this is a nice upgrade for him. Let's combine them with some nails. mind. Take these and give them to him. He will combine them with some nails. Then, we'll give these back to him. He will wear them. We've got these other boots. Six magic, one physical. Four magic, one physical. Two physical. some shabby boots. Haven't had any schizo symptoms in three days now. At least there's that. Well, that's good. I mean, that's three days of relief. But you've got... They don't have any meds or anything that they've found that can help you with that, huh? So now, her... Her incarnate is really strong now. Sixty-nine health. And ninety-three and nine. wow. That incarnate's a beast. Does a lot of damage. A lot of poisoning. Pretty good. Cure is worse than the disease. I don't know, man. I, I, uh, did everything I could possibly do many years ago to leave all that drama behind. And I'm 
kind of zombified myself compared to what I used to be. But it seems worth it compared to the drama from before. going now. I've climbed up these vines, I can delete that. Shrieker, I've been in that dungeon, I can delete that. Actually, I better not. Keep that. Source pools. There's another vine I can come check out over this way, I guess. Bought some undead here. Yeah, I'm pretty much a shut-in, for all intents and purposes. Not great, but... It is... calm. Drama-free. Oh, there's kind of a beach area over here that I haven't checked out. Too bad you're not gay. Well. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I don't tend to do well with those kinds of relationships anyway. They don't last very long for me. No kind of relationships last very long for me. Even if it's just like an online thing, it still gets to be too much for me and I have to bail on it. Basically, I don't do well with any kind of feeling of obligation or expectation. You tried to be straight? Didn't work out, I, I guess. Yeah, I don't think people can really try to be an orientation that they're not. Just don't think it works that way. We are what we are. Why we are what we are? That's a good question. Who knows, right? But how much of it is genetic, how much of it is environmental, how much of it is... Preference? I mean, it's obviously not all preference, because one can't make oneself prefer the opposite of what they prefer. It's probably not all genetic, either. Probably some complicated mix of factors, you know, but I think once we are what we are, then that's how we're stuck. I don't really know of anybody Boring. who's like firmly been gay or straight and then and then somehow changed to the other. I don't know of anybody like that. I'm not saying that's impossible. I do know a guy who was gay for a large portion of his life and then he got really Christian and he decided he shouldn't be gay anymore so he was going to become delivered of being gay by God and then he was going to be straight after that and he married a woman and he did all that and he had kids but the fact of the matter is even though he was pretending to be straight really hard the truth is, he was still gay.
he would have to admit that. I mean, he did admit that. Even though he didn't want it to be true. Combination of genetics and hormone fluctuations in the womb. Alright. Seems reasonable to me. I don't really know anything about anything, so... I don't really know anything about anything. seeing a lot going on in this area mothers who have had two daughters and then have a boy that boy is vastly more likely than average of being gay really I didn't realize Bennett. unmistakable how did noxious bulbs end up here noxious bulbs are obnoxious more like obnoxious bulbs am I right I've only scanned the occasional headline I mean, even going beyond sexual orientation, how do any of us become what we are? How do, you, how do any of us develop the personality that we have, the drives, the, the emotional makeup, the demeanor? What makes somebody a sociopath? They can fuck right off if they ever find a cure. Well, yeah, I mean, first of all, they can't find a cure. Because you can't cure something that isn't a problem, that isn't a disease. And being gay is certainly not a problem, or a disease, or anything like that. So, to even suggest that you could cure it would be, in and, in and of itself, a, like an, a logical impossibility. I mean, I would like to hope that gone are the days when rational, scientific people would consider homosexuality to be any sort of illness or, or problem. It's just another flavor of normal. Medical profile done of your DNA. You have all the indicators for bipolar and schizophrenia. Hmm. Makes me wonder, like... Is there really anything wrong? With people who have those mental qualities? We automatically call it a disorder. Because it what it interferes with the proper functioning of our well-ordered society but I mean maybe our society is structured in a problematic way maybe we should be revering those people who are touched by madness what we call madness maybe they have insight in a way of seeing the world that in a different kind of society would be considered something valuable. 
Alright, well there's like endless fire over here, so that's rude. Now, I read a book about these stupid bulbs and I don't remember... Like, the blue ones. Can I cast, like, lightning on them? What happens? Hmm. Or... Ice? Is there a bulb in here causing- oh, there is a bulb in here causing all this fire. What if I cast fire on the bulb? It worked. It shut that shit down for a bit. I don't know how long it shut it down for. I have a feeling I'm going to be burning here. In a second. Some Christian loon in the US will win an election by making it an inoculate. Oh, that's crazy talk. Crazy talk. I've spotted something. I don't know, man. I don't know why there's so much ugliness and weirdness in religion, in a lot of religions. Like, they're supposed to be all about love and acceptance and harmony and unity and peace and all this good stuff. And you're like, yay, religion, that's rad. But then, they're like, oh, but also, a whole bunch of people are just wrong for existing, and we should destroy them, or force them to change. That's the part that I don't like. Oh, I found a ring. The polar is considered a disorder because it interferes with people's ability to create decent lives for themselves but maybe that's more of a, a function of our society and less a function of the disorder itself I mean we have a society which requires you to do certain things to quote unquote have a decent life but what if we had a different kind of society What if we knew how to harness the power of bipolar disorder? Where we give people what they need when they're in the downside of the disorder and we don't expect anything from them, but then we, we utilize their enhanced creativity and energy when they're in the manic side while also knowing how to keep them under control. We've got ourselves a five magic armor ring. I think my big guy is going to wear this. Mushroom. Stardust herb. A gift to Rivalon from one of the elemental monarchs of the realm of fairy. Talented craftsmen call it the shock that brings life to runes. That sounds good. A harpoon. Standard issue military lance. No surprises here from its sturdy wood to its gleaming spike. Anything outside the normal is considered problematic. Yeah, see, I don't like that. Seems like people have different burdens to carry, but they also have different gifts. And if we had a society which was based on 
helping people with their different burdens and harnessing the different gifts that different kind of people have, um, then maybe we could get more value as a society out of out of um, people that we now consider just useless and disabled or whatever. Uh, the game just saved itself. There's a severed head up ahead. What's going on over here? Yellow one puts out oil. Blue one puts out water. That doesn't seem like a problem. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I consider my disorder to be pretty fucking problematic. But I don't, but I think, I don't know, possibly we could live in a different kind of world where it wouldn't be so. These plants look truly sinister. They're arranged in a ring. Is that a natural occurrence? Hmm, this does seem kind of bad. There's a lot of severed heads here. Why are there so many severed heads here? Why are there so many severed heads? Alright, this is where that other vine was that I was going to climb up. So I'm, I'm now officially at that place. I don't think I need this vine marked on my map anymore. No bad things happen if you open the chest! I swear! Oh, the severed heads are talking. Steam cloud. What I feel like is going to happen... What I feel like is going to happen is... When I open the chest, all these things are gonna... All the red ones are going to kick out fucking, or whatever, the yellow ones are going to kick out fire, and all these other ones are going to kick out electricity. And, and it's going to be a real clusterfuck. There's some dead people here. Water essence and an electric discharge scroll. Let's we'll send that to Sabeel. Incinerated corpse. Gonna lurk for a bit. Friend gave you some good news. Alright, cool. Sounds good, son. Thanks for uh, stopping by and chatting with me. Always good to see ya. Some bullshit happening down there. Hmm. There's a spear. Another incinerated corpse. A lot of severed heads. Crafting Bible. Oh, I haven't been up on top of this thing yet. Alright, so let's say I come over here to this severed head. A severed head sits rotting on a stick. The last vestige of an ear juts from above its too prominent jawline. A fly buzzes about its nose. Its eyes open. It looks at you. When it speaks, it struggles to move its impaled jaw. I don't know who you are, but hear this. Don't open the chest. 
Don't open the chest. Whatever you do, don't open the chest. Hmm. What happens when you open a chest? Everything. Everything will go boom. Don't open the chest. Don't open the chest. All right. How do you intend on stopping me from opening it? I shall rely on your order and common sense. Common sense. Co I shall rely on your honor and intelligence. What crime uh, saw you end up ahead on the stick? Same old story. Usual story. Made the mistake of being a good and proper worker, but a professional. Lost my head for it. <laughs> or as it turned out, lost my body. My body. The rest of me. What work did you do when you were alive? We were main builders. We built mazes. We constructed leathery. Back of Rips and Felsted. The one with the goggles was the best raise ever. Right before he cut off our heads. What? Tell me more about this gargoyle maze. What did it hide? Oh no, I found everything. A master maze builder does not give away the king's secret. My lips are filled. My lips. I say nothing is what I mean. Yes, but this king, this Bracchus Rex, he rewarded your loyalty and expertise by cutting off your head and planting it on a stick. If you think about it, you really owe him nothing. True. I do. Several do I cut him to hide the family Radgarth, Radgarth, Rashika, Slaughter. So he's not all evil. Anyway, doesn't matter. We have a code. We are master age builders. We construct the finest language. We do not give away our secrets. Do your work. The head closes its eyes. The conversation is over. Hmm. All we're saying is don't open the chest, or bad things will happen. Exploding things. I'm not sure I'm talking to the same head I talked to before. We all look the same to you, do we? One head's as good as another, is it? Well, that's just lovely. Hope you're ashamed of yourself. Now don't make things worse. Don't open the chest. But what happens if I open the chest? You open the chest, bad things will happen. Not nice things, bad things. See those bones, plants? The flora all around us, I mean to say. It'll go off! Yes, but to whom will these bad things happen? The head's eyes widen in horror. You wouldn't kill perfectly innocent heads like us just to see what's in a chest, would you? There's no honor anymore. None at all. The head closes its eyes. The conversation is over. Get lost and don't open the chest. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. All right. Talk to this severed head. Get lost. I don't out the chest. Get lost. I swear. Get lost. Hmm. Okay. Bloodied and sad, a severed head sits on its stick. Its eyes snap open and dart from you to the nearest noxious bulb, and back to you again. Open the chest there. Go on. You know you want to. Open the chest. There's loot in it. Open the chest. Hmm. What happens when I open a chest? And no lies, damn you! Good! 
things occur. No <laughs> joy. Very good things. Just open the chest. Your buddy doesn't seem to want the chest opened. Don't worry, that idiot. Open the chest. I think you're a bit suspiciously enthusiastic about me opening the chest. Perhaps you want to die, is that it? He looks to the suspicious bulb surrounding the chest, then back to you. He knows he's caught out. His lip quivers, wobbles, then he starts crying. The crying goes on for an uncomfortably long time. He recovers his composure, looks down at the earth before him, speaks quietly. It, it's just... It's just... I want to die! Can't die! Can't kill myself, neither! If my mother could see me now, she'd be mortified! Oh, how can I help? Hope glints in his eye. Just... just... open the chest! That's all! Open the chest! I'm begging you! What's in this chest? Stuff! There's stuff in the chest! Char stuff. stuff! Open the chest and find out why don't you? What kind of stuff? Impatience flashes in his eyes and is gone. Stuff! You know, good stuff! Loot than that! Being a head on a stick hasn't done much for your personality. Good day. Go on and see how I care! Open the chest! Be lost. Go on, open the Open the I was hoping that she could eat these severed heads. Open the chest. Alright, well, I'm not just gonna foolishly walk in here and open any old damn chest without really thinking about what's happening. So here we go. What we're gonna do is... Stay lost. Go on. Open the... We're gonna come up here. Away from the disaster... Of this thing. Away from the disaster. Then Losa... Is gonna come here. And we're gonna try to telekinesis this fucking thing. Oh shit. Well. So much for the severed heads then. Well, we got the chest out of there. But we turned this place into an absolute clusterfuck of death. Amazing. Let's see what's in the chest. Oh, there is good stuff. Alright, so we got a spear. A ring with five magic armor on it. I'll wear that. A severed head. She can eat that. A far side infusion book. Which can go to Losa. Bloody two-hander. An enormous two-handed sword that clangs aggressively against other weapons and hums contentedly against the whetstone. Add that to wares. Um, Sabeel. Eat this head. You were a genius maze builder. 
Clear of mind, sharp of wit, you built an invisible staircase, useful to those who may find it. Invisible staircase, we'll try to keep that in mind. Wow, this is an absolute fuckhole of a, of a situation here. Meanwhile, we go this way. Let's see what there is to see. We found some armor called the Tracks of the Tyrant, part of a full set, it seems. There's something odd about the armor. It seems to emit a crippling aura. Yeah, I'd really like to get that Tyrant armor on first. Up ahead we have some shenanigans. A human skeleton, if you will. that fucking sound? Some oil over there. I kind of want to come down and see what's down this way. An oil barrel. Eupinia mushroom. Another oil barrel. A pumpkin. Alright, let's blast this guy. Where's the green one? You mean it's an invalid target? Poison clouds in the way still. These things are creepy looking. With the little spiky spikes. Rusted bell. No sooner have you rung the ornate bell than the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Stand back and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister or draw one last deep breath. Oh, she sells stuff for. Apply haste to yourself, then teleport away from imminent danger. That seems pretty good. Huntsman. Deep into the air before shooting, gaining, gaining damage bonuses for your superior height. That would be quite nice for our friend... Bane. Fiché. 
and down. Garage. Wow. Okay. Look me over. I am a battle-hardened veteran, not an Alexander-doting, robe-wearing milksop of a magister. You detect a sliver of a smile as she relaxes her martial pose. You're right. I suppose you don't look like a magister. Besides, those dogs wouldn't have dared to call me out like that. I apologize for this steel-tipped welcome, but lives are at stake. Hold on, I'll let you up. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the Sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. Oh, cool. I found the Sanctuary. What if I just want to ring the bell a whole bunch? That's Bahara. Um... We have arrived at a hideout in the Hollow Marshes. The lizard guarding its entrance, Bahara, has welcomed us inside. Ah, the hideout. Okay, cool. Let me take this pumpkin. Junk. Fishbone. This looks like a dead end. Not the kind of dead end that has like cool loot at, at the end of it. Like the kind of dead end that just is a dead end. Without cool loot. Alright, that's fine. So should we go to the hideout next? You know, I kind of feel like getting rid of this fucking poison bullshit. Does a rain storm? Does not get rid of poison clouds. Noxious bulb. And there's all this business. These ruins over here. Mysterious cave. Whatever this blue stuff is over here. There's whatever all is down here, plus there's like this area over here that I haven't been to, plus there's like this area over here, and all this, and all this, and all this. It's quite a bit. Welcome back, son, and goodbye, son.
<laughs> I need to end this episode here. We're gonna go up here and check out this uh, hideout, though. So in our next episode, we'll check out the hideout. We'll talk to the people here, whoever they might be, in the base of the um, Seekers. Maybe advance some quests and stuff. But that is going to be next time. That is going to be next time. If you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere, because I'm not done playing. If you're watching on YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2.